Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. How are you lot doing? Oi, we're playing some current exiles again. And now, uh, listen, I know we're not doing no cave building. I know we're not doing a secret base location, but we're doing something I thought was pretty fucking useful. Playing on Conan and that, I know everyone can agree with me when you're doing this. You could play official, you could play a unofficial server. You'll always see bases that are always out and about in the flat in the open area and stuff or on top of pillars and things like that. And uh, some of them can be quite easy to read, but quite catastrophic. <laughs> you know what it is? So listen, I'm going to show you my little version. What you can see, I'm using triangle wedges. It's no bigger than a map room size. Probably just a little bit smaller because map rooms is uh, four wedges long on the outside. This is only three. Imagine that. Only three. And I'm going to show you how I do it. This, this shit is so defensive, so, so strong. Yeah, it takes like 50, 60 bombs just to get into the core of it. Telling you now, so many people are going to be so, so thrown off. It's a, it's a naughty little fucker. But yeah, like I said, all the whole idea with the round it and that, just have a little bit of fun, show people how I'll do it when it comes to flat bases. I had a little bit of fun doing this, so if, you, if you're going to enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button. It does help. Give me some ideas and some new videos to do. I was going to keep doing the base videos, because I'll do one in D9. I was going to do the Desert Gutter. I've got a few other little spots I want to build in, but oh my fucking god, they are massive. Absolutely massive. I've had a couple go at, go at a couple of them before and that, and I'm like... Jesus Christ, I'm about an hour in, two hours in, and I'm not even halfway. And it's like, fuck it. Now it's going to be like a three part video, but I'm sure none of you want to sit there and uh, watch a two hour video, do you? One hour video. And that's when it's boosted up as well. <laughs> but yeah, you can see what we're doing here. We've actually got the fence foundation on the outside with 90k health. Then we put the foundations on the inside and we zigzag it. We'll cross it over. The reason why I do that because if someone breaks through, we, we do have another layer on the outside, you'll see it as the video goes along. But they'll have to break through one foundation to go through, then they see the fence foundation, you break the fence foundation, then you've got to break another foundation, you've got two foundations next to each other, it's a triangle, you break one of those, the other piece is still stuck together to give an illusion like it's another wall. you still got to break through it necessarily, but it's like, you're talking about 50 bombs just to break through. And it's, uh, I, I take that as a huge fucking dub. Especially when it's out and about in the open as well. Pretty, pretty good. Like I said, the, this is a very expensive building. That they are, they can do expensive, most of these. But hey, if you want a good base, it's it's not going to be cheap. It's not going to be cheap. But they, with the, with the size and the stuff, you can put these on pillars. If you want to go down to 08, if you want to go to the Mans of the Dead or anywhere like that, you can fit this on literally pretty much any pillar that's a reasonable size. We've got the yog, yog in there. I did the first bit and I'm going to upgrade it and you'll see me upgrading as well just to show you all in the process and show you that nothing's hanging out and it doesn't block the hole or anything. I did have to pick up and remove it. I wanted to get the roof with a, some stability and it cover up so no one can do that shit where you can jump over and jump in it. You need a roof when you're building this. And you probably noticed why I put a door on the floor. The reason why I put a door on the floor and it's just my personal opinion. I, oh my god. The last thing you want is people going up to your door and that putting bombs and blowing through. And it's kind of the reason why I raised it on the floor doing the snap elevator. You, you're giving, you, you're kind of like blocking that option. So instead of giving people the option to say, right, we'll hit the door and go through, it's, well, you can't hit the door because they try and blow the door, that's going to snap. They try and arrow the door off to get to the next door. It's not going to happen because it's obviously the door's got more health than that. And the sandstone roof is, is a lot less. So it's going to break before anything. So it gives no one any option just to actually hit through the walls. And you can see here we're putting the actual fan, uh, the wedges on the outside to make it even stronger. We'll be putting spike fences on there as well. This is just, it's just an absolute nightmare to raid this would be. So like I said, raising the door out of the ground does help in, the, in a, a huge way. <laughs> a huge way and uh, you, you won't believe it. So yeah, so if someone's going to raid this, it, it's a huge mind game. Unless people know what they're doing. Because 9 out of 10 times, someone will come in and will say, Alright, listen, we'll hit the door. They shoot arrows and that, try and use bombs, blow the door off, got the elevator. They try and do their little sneaky way of what they think they can do about it. And uh, when they realise it don't work and the elevator snaps, they're going to think, fuck it, we'll blow through the wall. 
normally when you go out on a raid on a base like this, if I looked at this, I'd say to the boys, right, listen, no more than 50 bombs, realistically. 30 bombs to get in, you've got 20 bombs to blow all the chests and stuff and wreck the inside. That's being optimistic. Uh, wow, 50 bombs just to break in and you got all the chests. You're looking at about a 70 bomb raid. Especially with all the flaws on the inside. I haven't done it on the video just because I want to show space and don't make it look too crammed in that. On each floor, you can just put a wall, put a door in that so you can like airlock each each floor off. So they have to, they're going to have to use so many more bombs. That's an extra 10 bombs each floor. And this whole, this tiny little thing like this, you can look at about 100 bombs, 90 bombs, 80 bombs, depending how good the uh, the group is. So obviously you do get some lads out there that'll be using grease orbs and uh, well put a bomb down, throw a grease orb and shoot a gas arrow. And when you're doing that, you, you will save bombs and that'll be the cheapest way around that. It's a little bit longer than that, but those sort of raids is when it's AFK, no one's online. But when you're thinking about raids when you're online that, you're defending, you've got the high ground as well. You can just jump off your building, you've got shoot arrows down, throw javelins down, anything you... Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a beautiful little base. We actually did this once for a boosted server, it was fucking awesome. They had to, oh, I think they used about 90 bombs and still couldn't even get in. They went home, come back to get some more bombs, we emptied the whole bloody thing and moved location. There's only like a little secondary base was fucking about on while we're waiting to go to the volcano, but yeah, she's a beauty. Absolute beauty. What I've done there, literally, I had to pick up the uh, the yog. I don't know what is wrong with Conan, but listen, comment down below if you have the same problem as me. And if you go sometimes put building pieces down, it says like you can't place it. It's a uh, building place occupied or something. Then if you delete a building piece, it lets you put the building piece in that blocked area. Then lets you put one in the area you just deleted as well to fill the gap up. Oh, it confuses me. It drives me through the roof really does but yeah this is pretty much a, the overview as you can see of the whole thing we're just double door stacking at the minute as you can see just to make it a little bit more per a bit more secured so just guarantee the so if they are going to do it they'll have to snap the roof but yeah here's the inside you can see we're just doing the yog changeover just show it's not too big and the size and the tree doesn't get in the way it's just a little tester in that to be fair there actually is no change whatsoever so uh, if you do actually have a cock up inside the base it's don't worry about it, it's not really any dramatic change to it at all. Really isn't. But this is the interesting bit and this is the fun part. I did change a little bit and put a floor and just raise the sides up. That's just for the beds, there's nothing to concern yourself, it's more to get around to yourself. But the workbench stacking in here, I bet you're all thinking it's tiny as fuck. You're not going to get anything in here in that. Well this is just a bare minimum. Just keep it simple, keep it nice and clean. and. Uh, yeah, you, you'll see what we stick in here. We've got the blacksmith, we've got one uh, one carpenter bench, we've got the one cooking station. We'll end up having two tanneries, two armor benches, obviously one for packs and one for the exile epic as well. We'll have one furnace in there just because if you are building this and you've already built this build in the process, I'm guessing you don't really need a furnace at the point in time because you've obviously built all the resources to build it anyway. And that one furnace you have for a big star metal or anything else you're making down the run anyway. On the second floor, now this is where it gets interesting. We've not got just two cauldrons. We're stepping up and putting eight cauldrons down. Imagine that. Woo! Eight of them. The amount of times I see in the comments, I see people saying, two cauldrons isn't enough. We have about six. Uh, we have about eight. We have about five. We have about. <laughs> you have about this net. Well, fuck you lot. Listen, we're having eight, eight cauldrons. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Listen, if you've got any 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 bases yeah with more cauldrons on official server and that yeah and they're actually in use, send me a picture on Twitter at I am Easy B. I wanna see these. I wanna see how dramatic because I think some of you lot are over exaggerating. I really fucking do. No no to be to be real about it. I think some of you are. But yeah, looking there we've got plenty of room. I do move a few bits and bobs around in the process of when actually doing this. I thought it was a good idea and that, but then I'm trying to think when all the people are online, all the boys are running around that you're doing your thing, you've got to try and think about room, uh, cross-lapping each other. So if someone walks past you and things like that, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's one of those. you just got to think about spacing. But if you don't, it, it, it can go really bad. And you get people complaining and stuff and workbenches need picking up and go back and forth and it's... It's a huge delay, but yeah, we end up putting down, if I'm correct, about eight beds. I wasn't keeping count there. 
But yeah, we ended up getting a nice few bed times, a nice little team base for such a small little area. And uh, let's have a little look once all the chests are down. Now you can see here, we've got the inside bubble. So if you win the god bubble is actually up and it's around and stuff, you can notice no one can shoot any arrows to get up anyway. So this, this drawbridge is fucked anyway, so the only thing they can do is place bombs. With it being at a certain angle and the fence is there, you can't put bombs behind the fence to blow it anyway. And if you did, you're ripping the shit out anyway, you're breaking the bridge. One bomb will blow that whole roof off. Imagine that. So coming inside, you see we've got the uh, the two beds there. We did put the triangle wedge and raise this chip, the uh, the fridge up, because I thought it was going to be a little bit of a struggle getting in and out there. We've got the beds up top, like I said, with the chest arms for all the players. And coming down the bottom, this is what gets interesting. Ooh, look at this. Plenty of storage for everything you need and that. Because when you get so far into a game, let's be realistic about it. You'll have all your, your weapon fittings and stuff. For, you'll have all your armor pads. You pretty much have everything already in the workbench. is ready. You just need some resources to craft it. Or you just need to click craft. But this is my way of making it open. If you actually enjoyed this video, please let me know. Because I would like to make some more of this and some crazy ideas like defensive bridges and stuff. But... If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, feel free to comment down below. You know EasyB gets back to absolutely everyone. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm EasyB.